Told you about people, places, and uh, things like that, right? So today I'm taking a time out. I'm coming to the park and just uh, watching the families and and seeing the good times, see the smiles, and uh, you see some great things, you know. And, not, and there can also be native things in parks, but I'm gonna focus on the positive ones, the great stuff, right? So yes, Kirk's got to do his little uh, speech today. Sorry, because I want to talk about the playground, right? <laughs> Now look how, you know, we, we come into this world where innocent children, all of us, we, you know, nice and, you know, God made us born perfectly, right? But then we get uh, trained by the system, the playground, and, and it becomes a naughty. So the bullying starts on the playground. There's the, uh, you know, getting picked on and teased and this is my part of the playground, this and that, right? So what's crazy about that is that in an end, so we think that once we exit that playground and get out of the school system that it stops no 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 see it gets worse because now you have adults who have used the world as their playground about i'm the king of the mountain i'm the i'm the best and i'm going to take your money and i'm going to be see because that's what all the politicians do the elites they you know they're just they, they've learned how to use laws and and how to uh, control the people the tv the television to it's it's an adult playground it's a nasty too because once you wake up to that it's like wow it's rough i mean that's all you got is you got adults still acting like children instead of showing love and caring and uh being child of uh children of god they become uh they, they become uh just continue on their way to being just living on the playground in adult world and it's you know we got it gets nasty right the uh the cheating the theft and uh, and all uh, the embezzlement and everything else. They just, they just use it. You know, it's, you're, you're living in a playground, and also we know this too. What is it? It's this. It's Satan's playground. This whole earth, this whole world, this whole reality is his playground, and he just loves it. And I, I hate to give him attention because, like I said, every time you do that, he loves the attention. You know what I mean? Satan would just disappear if we wouldn't give him attention. He'd be gone, just like a vapor. So I apologize, but you know. That thing is, we also got to realize that we have to give this attention because we got to know that enemy and defense and show that right. So we got to understand the games, the system, rules of the playground, and stuff like that. So anyway, so you know, and the thing is, I never really got picked on much of the playground. I did have a lot of tackles and battles, just like everybody else. And I'll tell you what, if you're a good soul, it starts oh early. I mean, looking back at my life, oh my goodness, man, I was I was targeted even at a very young age. Um, but I got along with mostly everybody, which is interesting. Uh, you know, I grew up in Montreal, small town. Uh, Johnson Elementary was uh, the playground, and usually I just got along with everybody, which was really cool. Uh, but I did have a couple occasions where somebody's being naughty, and uh, you know, and almost got in fights and stuff like that, you know, and, and things like that. And then you go to different types of playground in middle school, same type of things. It's different. The playground rules are over ladies. Playground schools over elementary were. Um, you know, uh, you know, junior high and high schools over the ladies. You know, you know, that's my girl. This, that, blah, blah, blah. You know, trying to. We're all tough guys now. Yeah, we had some testosterone and stuff like that, right? And then this, this playground is about. Uh, I started thinking what the rules of this one is. This is my toy. This is my uh, part of the part of the playground. I'm the one in charge. I'm gonna call the games. And they always have the, the rule changer, right? Well, I'm not winning, so I'm going to change the rules. Well, <laughs> you see that adult rule, too. Um, that law is not working out for us too well, folks. Uh, we're going to have to change that law to benefit the elites through some kind of sneak or trickery, right? Yeah, we see that. It's changing the laws. You know, even Satan changes the laws. Uh, they said, you know, and uh, that's what we're seeing, changing the laws to, to benefit uh, themselves, right? Because, hey, I'm not winning this game. So I'm going to change the rules of the game, right? You can't play f fair and square, right? And, uh, but anyway, but so there's so much to say about this that, uh, you know, thank goodness that you'll graduate out of the system and, you know, you get out of this playground. But, uh, you know, it, it just sucks. It just sucks that we have adults who just still play the, the never, never get out of that playground. They'll never change and they'll just be just using the world as their, their big toy now, their big sandbox, you know. And that's the thing, you see that sand? We're all stuck in the sandbox, right? We're all trying to get out of here with the Father and the Lord and the angels and get to the heavens because, man, we are in the sand trap. That's, you know what I mean? It's all a sandbox, you know. They also call it Jack in the Box, you know, and other things like that. You've seen the Jack in the Box uh, uh, things. A lot of things are related to Jack, you know. Um, 
Jack, uh, you know, is sort of clown name and things like that. So you got to focus on that name Jack a little bit because Jack is uh, is another thing of the beast system trying to trap you in here and not make you a free soul, okay? So I don't mean to go about that. I apologize. So give me a thumbs down or just say, hey, Kirk, we don't want to hear these these analogies uh, if you don't like them. But it's things that I like to put things in analogies of playground and think about these things like this, right? You know, and it's it's a game of life, folks. And uh, I want to do more studying the game of life, um, you know, the game we used to play as children because it is, the game of life is, but the thing is, it's a serious game for, for the ones who don't understand. It's a game for your soul, you know. It's a game for your freedom, a game for make it to the heavens. See, it's more than just a game of life. And uh, and that's what, you know, I wish so many people were awake and aware to this, that there's more to, to this than just the game of life, right? But that's the thing is to play the game of life. And seeing the game of life is trying to program you into the way life should be. You know, it's, it has all these, you're going to get this job, you're going to get this college, and oh my gosh, you didn't do that. You, know, you roll the dice for children, things like this. It's all, even the game of life is kind of trying to program you to accept that's the way our reality is. And it doesn't have to be that way. I'm not saying about marriage, you know, children's great, families are awesome. I love families, children, things like this. But the whole thing that it's a lot of programming, a lot of game boards are trying to, are designed to, when the ones now are disgusting. I did a video on that about, you know, the apocalypse, the the mass. And, the, and some of these were obviously, some of these games are for getting ready like in 2000. I saw some in 2008, 2000. Then you go back and it, it was already baked into the pie for us. You know what I mean? So. The whole predictive program, the game board is even already there. There's even the one about uh, virus, zombies, and stuff like that that I wasn't aware of. And of course, you got the Illuminati cards, uh, and you got these other cards. That, that That's the adult game. See? See? You got the adult game, the Illuminati cards, the, uh, the tarot cards. You got all these cards. It's just the adult version, you know what I mean? So, and that's the thing is I want to make sure you understand that. Um, you want to understand the Bible. You want to understand... Uh, you want to understand the other religions, but you really also need to understand tarot cards. You need to understand, uh, you should understand uh, the Illuminati cards to some extent. You know what I mean? You don't need to focus on those things because we're going to get this done. We're going to win our mission anyway. It just makes you aware of these things. It just awakens you, right? Because you could spend a lifetime studying those things, and, 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 and I'm telling you, people have. And you're just going to be wasting your time. So just understand the basics, right? Keep it simple, stupid. That's what I call it, KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. Everything in your life, keep it simple, right? You know what I mean? Keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate Because, you know, I've seen people even with the, the Bible, they overcomplicate Well, Corinthians 2, 5, 6, 2, 6, 9, 6, 2, you know, is... is but see, those are good things. I'm not, I'm not going against that. But understand, you know, put the things in context and things that you need. And, uh, you know, we got a great brother. He's giving me a lot of great scriptures. So thank you, my friend. Uh, he's always posting and stuff. Um, and that's great stuff. Okay, but but he's not posting the whole Bible on there, you know what I mean? Which is, you know, and, and telling you what to do. So he just he, he puts it and lines it out real quick, right? He outlines this, 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 this. And I mean, so you know, so that's what I'm saying. Keep it simple, stupid. Everything you do, keep it simple, because you try to complicate it, it's just going to put you in that rabbit hole, and these things start cycling and spinning on you, right? And uh, have a routine. I've discovered I, now I, I'm bad about routines. Sometimes because not to have a team, not. So I got a lot of friends who, uh, well, see, the problem, I have hardly any friends, to be honest, in this real world. This, not real, this fake world, you know. <laughs> but, you know, truly, you, the ones on this video are my, my best friends. You are. Because everybody's run from me. I came, I came spiritual. I came with the fathers, the Lord, the angels, uh, and all the spiritual world. Everybody, you're gone. They ran, right? And you might be in the same situation. So I really have no true friends. People say they're the great friends, but then I never hear from them and stuff like that. So thank you. You're my best friends, my family, the ones that are a part of this uh, this channel, okay? So thank you much, and I love you all for that, right? Because you're the ones that give me support, encouragement. you let me know that somebody cares. So thank you all again, all right? So anyway, I just went rambled on. Okay, so I'll have to let you guys go. I'll have to put more in the comments as usual about my thoughts. All right, love you all. God bless.